Fireworks are beautiful things, dangerous but beautiful. And many of them are white, rather like this sparkler, because it's got metal magnesium and that gives a brilliant white light. But some of the most beautiful are coloured. Well, where do they get the colours from? In fact, they get it from various chemicals, and they are things called salts, which are really a combination of a metal with an acid. And a lot of them look rather like this, just white powder. Salt is one. It's a combination of sodium and hydrochloric acid, sodium chloride. Most of them are white, and you wouldn't know which was which from looking at them. But if you put them in a flame, they colour the flame, and that's, of course, where the firework colours come from. Let's have a look and see what uh, six metals give us. Not all metals do this, but some of them are very spectacular. First of all, here's lithium. Gives us a beautiful lightish red. Copper gives a brilliant green. Sodium, a yellow-orange. Barium, an apple green. Potassium, a violet. and strontium, a really rich crimson. And there's a mixture. You'll see all sorts of things in that. And that's really what the firework manufacturers do. They pack these chemicals together with the explosives so that when they burn, they produce a mixture of the colours that you see in the sky. Well, that's fairly hard to do at home. It's also a bit poisonous. But uh, some of the early firewoods were simply bits of paper which had been painted with those chemicals and then were set fire to and waved about. And they gave you results like this. A whole mix of interesting colours and a tremendous lot of smoke as well. Rather stinky and rather dangerous if you breathe it in. So we won't breathe it in, we'll put paid to it. And that's a little hard to do at home and uh, not recommended. The other time that you'll see those coloured flames though is if you take bits of coloured magazine and throw them into a campfire or your own fire at home. Because a lot of the inks use uh, the same chemicals because they produce brilliant colours in inks as well as in flame. Most of the time though you don't see it like that because the yellow masks all the other colours but occasionally you'll see flashes particularly of green which comes from the copper. There is a fairly safe way of looking at this and it's particularly good if you're out camping and if you've been somewhere near an old copper mine because around the mouth of a copper mine you find stones which if you look carefully you find are coloured like this. They've got green and blue in them and they are copper salts. And they produce in these salts the same sorts of colours that you get in the flame. Pick small pieces that won't explode and chuck them into a campfire. And with any luck at all, particularly from the blue ones, you see the beautiful bluey-green colour of copper flame.